Hello, friends. Chag Sameach. Happy first night of Hanukkah 2019. I've got low lighting, and this is a perfect story to read with your kids and family on the first night of Hanukkah. This book is called The Hanukkah Guest by Eric A. Kimmel, illustrated by Giora Karmi. Let's begin. Old Bear roused himself from his winter sleep. He yawned a gigantic yawn. Then he stretched himself all over. Finally, he poked his nose outside his den. A soft blanket of deep snow covered the ground. Spring was still many months away. Old Bear wrinkled his nose. What was that delicious smell? It smelled like something to eat, which reminded Old Bear that it had been months since he had eaten anything. Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Baba Braina took the last potato latka from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. The latkas would stay warm in there until her guests arrived. Baba Braina was 97 years old and did not hear or see as well as she used to. But she still made the best potato latkes in the village. There she is, making latkes with her little kitty cat. Every year at Hanukkah, all her friends made their way through the snow to her little house on the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes. Baba Braina always made plenty, but tonight, on the very first night of Hanukkah, she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight, the rabbi was coming. Oh boy. Here's Baba Braina. Baba Braina put on a clean apron and set the table. She filled a bowl with nuts for the dreidel game. Kitzel, the cat, rubbed against her ankles as she bustled around the kitchen. One last chore, the candles for the menorah. Baba Braina went to get them. Just then, she heard a knock at the door. Looks like she got surprised. Oh my goodness. It wasn't exactly a knock, more like a soft thumping. Thump, thump, thump. Ah, my guest must be early, Baba Braina said. She opened the door. The cat hissed and dived under the table. Why, Rabbi, how nice to see you, Baba Braina exclaimed. Oh, growled old bear. Ah, and happy Hanukkah to you too. Please come in. Old Bear lumbered into the house. He shook the snow from his fur. I'll take your coat, Rabbi. My, how thick it is. Oh, it must be very cold outside. Baba Braina tugged at Old Bear's fur. Oh, dear. Roar! Old Bear roared. Oh, you prefer to leave your coat on? Well, that's all right. It is a bit chilly in here. Come into the kitchen. I've set the table for a lovely Hanukkah evening. Old Bear followed Baba Braina into the kitchen. 
The delicious smell made his nose twitch. Ugh. Thank you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The latkes will taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. Rawr! Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we light the menorah. Rawr. Oh, that's all right. I know you were teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you say the blessings? Bubba Brina struck a match and lit the Shama's candle. Then she lit the one for the first night. Old Bear muttered and growled. Who has kept us, preserved us, and sustained us to this time? Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessing so beautifully. <laughs> Baba Braina pulled out a chair and Old Bear sat down. Let's play dreidel. I have some nuts we can play with. Old Bear's nose twitched. He cracked a nut in his teeth. <gasps> Rabbi, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them all. Rawr, growled Old Bear. Don't worry, I have more nuts if you need them. Bubba Braina gave the dreidel a spin. Old Bear sniffed at the little top as it whirled around. It stopped on the letter NUN. Nothing. We spin again. Bubba Braina spun the dreidel once more. This time it stopped on the letter Gimel. I won! Bubba Braina swept the nuts into her apron. Roar! Old Bear roared. I don't think he was very happy to lose. That is, if he knows how to play dreidel. Oh, don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game. Here, she tossed him a nut. Old Bear caught it in his paws, cracked it handily, and then begged for more. No, Rabbi, no more nuts. It's time for dinner. Old Bear snuffled and grumbled again. Mm. Baba Braina opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear's nose twitched as she set them on the table. Do you prefer your latkes with sour cream or jam? I like my latkes with applesauce and sour cream. Rawr, old Bear growled. Jam. I thought so. Baba Brina smeared five big latkes with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear snuffled with pleasure as he gobbled the latkes down. Bubba Brina laughed. You should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat just like a bear. Roar! I'm hungry as a bear, so I eat like one. <laughs> I can see that, Bubba Brina chuckled. Old Bear ate and ate until all the latkes were gone. He licked jam and sour cream from his muzzle and his paws. Then, Old Bear began to feel drowsy. He yawned. His great head flopped on Bubba Braina's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. And who wouldn't be after such a meal? <laughs> all the latkes are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Baba Braina took out a red woolen scarf from the cupboard. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. This scarf will keep you warm on the coldest nights. I needed it myself. Grrr. Old Bear licked Baba Braina's face. Baba Braina blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age. <laughs> Old Bear shuffled to the door. It was time to return to his den. 
He felt very sleepy. Humph, he growled as he ambled off into the night. He turned around one more time before disappearing into the forest. Humph. Good night to you too, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah. Pupa Braina was washing the dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Pupa Braina. Her friends and neighbors stood at the door wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody. Pupa Braina cried. How nice to see you. Please come in. I'm sorry, I don't have any more latkes. The rabbi came by. He ate them all. Look at all those people. Ech, Bubba Braina, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten the latkes, everyone said. He was in the synagogue with us the whole time. Bubba Braina scratched her head in bewilderment. Something strange is going, excuse me, happening here. Rabbi, I think there is an imposter going around. He looks like you. He talks like you. He even has your beard. Just then, Esther and David, Bubba Braina's two grandchildren, cried, Come look. Everyone ran to the kitchen to see what was wrong. They found the floor covered with bear tracks. Oh dear, a bear! I thought it was the rabbi. Bubba Braina had to sit down. Soon she began to giggle. <laughs> that was a very clever bear. Or a very foolish Bubba Braina. Ah well, let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah too. And so will you, my dear friends. David, go bring some potatoes up from the cellar. Esther, get my grater and a bowl. Everybody has to help. You too, Rabbi. But I promise there will soon be latkes for everyone. Deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was full of potato latkes. The warm woolen scarf was wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, old bear, and happy Hanukkah. The end. And I hope each and every one of you and your families have a very happy first night of Hanukkah. Sweet dreams, and may the light and love of our Lord be with each of you. Good night.